tuning in. This is Optimatimus coming at you with another video review. This time I'm bringing you Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Sideswipe. And before people freak out, yes, I am still doing Transformers reviews, obviously. Don't freak out about the He-Man stuff. Um, it, it's, it's silly for people to freak out. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. I, I, I really, really am. But So here we have Sideswipe. I'm going to focus on this guy now. And Sideswipe with the other Human Alliance figures comes with a Sergeant Epps figure. Now, I can honestly tell you, to me, that doesn't look like Tyrese Gibson to me. Uh, that's just my opinion, I suppose. But the other thing that I really do not like about this figure is his legs are too long. If you line, here we have Sam. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. If you line them up from the bottom of their crotch to the top of the head, size works fine. But look at those legs. They're freakishly long. So if you put them down here, it looks like he's all super tall. And I don't know if they're trying to make the, the Tyrese figure look taller and more adult than Sam. I don't know, but he is a taller figure than the Sam figure itself. Same amount of articulation. The head does everything. The arms, all that fantastic stuff. Decent figure, but uh, I just don't like the way that they've designed the legs, so that kind of bothers me. Moving on to Sideswipe himself, another gorgeous representation of the Chevy Corvette Stingray concept, I should say. Brilliant and gorgeous looking. Now, to compare to the Deluxe model, obviously there's a big size difference, but some of the other notices that you, or the other features that you notice is a lot less panel lines. I mean, there's this, there's this, there's this. There's this, there's this. I mean, it, this this is just full of panel lines. This one is very smooth and very, very uncut looking. So much nicer looking than this. Obviously, there's your size comparison. Bigger, I, I kind of like the lighter blue windows on the Deluxe a little bit more. Um, I like the fact that this has blue lights, but, but that's about it. Really nice Corvette symbol on the front really nice grill again I said the blue if you look deeply enough into there you can actually see again very similar to Jolt you can actually see the disc brakes in there of course the stingray symbol one on the back clear translucent pieces here for the exhaust pipes which do move in and out but on mine are actually rather stiff so they don't come out very well Overall, though, this is a gorgeous-looking vehicle mode. I'm going to compare him to the other Human Alliance figure that I have, and that's Bumblebee. And from back to front, they are almost the same exact size. And I know this is going to look like it's it's not really all lined up perfectly, but this is perfectly straight, and the front is perfectly straight. So these figures are exactly almost the same length. Width-wise, obviously, obviously you can tell this is a very nice representation though, of the vehicles. It, it, it fits fairly well. I, I like the way this looks. And the co cars are cool looking. So I'm very happy that they did Sideswipe in the Human Alliance line just because the car is really nice. Problems that I do have are not in the car mode. I think the car mode is brilliant. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's very sleek, very fast looking. You can open the doors in a very unique way they lift up which again just says speed and fast and coolness although they're a little bit of a pain in the butt so you get them like this I don't necessarily if you refer to them as gullwing doors uh, I'm not exactly sure that the proper name for doors that are like this but either way this is absolutely gorgeous when you get up inside here you can see there's a a lot of robot junk in there. You can see the the dashboard, you can see the steering wheel, you can see the seat. Both sides have the seat, but you can also see a lot of robot junk in there. And there's this cannon. So it's not quite as hidden as Bumblebee's, but it still looks okay. Now, I'm going to just set these kind of down to the side for right now because we're going to now transform this guy. And to do so, what you want to do first, come around here to the back. You're just going to kind of detach this and lift this up. Get the doors down. You need to then swivel this, and that takes some, oh, well, there, here's this missile. That gets some finagling to kind of get that clearance to rotate around to the side. Right here on the side here, you're going to take this, and you're going to fold that under. Bring that all the way around, just like so. Really, really easy. 
come around here to the bottom. And there's these little bits here, and here, well, here's the bottom. You can see his blades. These little bits right here, you want to just kind of detach these, like so. I kind of lift the doors, and get that out of the way. Then fold the seat. You're going to loosen all this, and this is going to. You're going to try and get this past here. It's a kind of a cumbersome mess, but. Once you get it past there, it's pretty actually easy. And like I said, the missile did store in here, and it just fell out, so we'll just set that off to the side. So there we go, fold these seats up. Again, just getting everything out of the way. And we're gonna come down here to his legs, first of all. So when you do that, now you have to detach this section. It just clips on, so just take the hood, and that will fold back like so. This little bit here you want to take and fold underneath. Come on here to the legs. You're going to separate them. And they're going to separate all the way up towards the crotch area. Ro rotate this out. Fold that out. Rotate this down. Rotate this all the way around and fold this part back. And then the feet clip together. And then you can extend them out like so. Do the same on the other side. Fold the little bits down. Rotate this out, down, around, folding down, plug it in, extend. Now you may notice that there's a problem right here. I'll get to that in a minute. Right on the inside here, which is kind of hard to see, but you need to get your nails in here and fold these little bits out. So you got that little bit folded out right like so. Do that on this other side as well. And it just adds to some depth of him. It doesn't really do anything. But there you go. And I actually forgot something down here on the wheels. When you fold these little bits out, there's a little section underneath here that you need to fold out as well. There we go. Fold that out. So now you have the, the legs pretty much done the way that you need to have them. Take this section here and you're going to rotate or slide this down like so. Come around here to the back. These little bits here need to get folded down, but well, first I'm going to take the arms out. So now you have the arms like this. Just take them and fold them out. And there's a little clip underneath here that you'll tab the arm pieces into. So clipped in, fold it out. Again, line up the piece and clip that in nicely. So you have it like so. Here's his head. Just kind of push his head through there. Nice and easy. Take these little bits and you're going to fold these down. Just like so. And then now you just got to accordion everything down together. So you're just going to bring this in just like the, the deluxe version. You're going to slip that right into place. And then underneath here, there's a tab. And you just push that in there nice and tight. Take these little bits. These will fold back. And you just kind of use these to kind of hold this thing up. Position everything here. Rotate the arms around. There we go. And there you have Human Alliance Sideswipe. I'm going to set this back here in uh, in robot mode. Um, one thing that you're going to notice, he's got a huge gumpin' backpack. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's still not very good. I don't like the fact that he's completely thin up in here and then all of this is just hanging there. That's It doesn't look good to me. And the deluxe version has the backpack too, but not noticeably as bad as this one. Um, nice, nice figure though. I, I do like the way he looks. His robot mode in my mind though suffers, and I'm, I'm fiddling with this cannon. His robot mode suffers. Number one, his his leg poseability is not as good as you would think it is. I mean, it it's standing actually pretty well right now, which it's just making me look like more of a douche. Um, but the back, see, he is really back heavy, and part of the problem, this. It's stationary that won't fold back but this one here folds back so he will tip backwards so what I'll usually do is I'll fold this just out to the side 
and that creates a solid base for him to stand on, kind of like heels. And he stands a whole lot better, and I, I like doing it that way. It's a little bit different, so definitely a better way of having him stand. Um, very nice looking face. His face is probably the best feature on him, I think. Really cool looking, nice Cybertronian symbol, and like Bumblebee, he does have a battle mask, and Pia actually kind of found this, because it's not shown on the directions, but his default position for his battle max mask appears to be this. If you put your finger underneath his chin and lift this bit up, and that's literally as far back as it goes, here's his regular face, I suppose. Um, sure. Okay. I just leave it down. Like, like so. And that's about it. Really nice Autobot symbol. There's a, a hidden Chevy symbol. Corvette symbol, I'm sorry. Overall, nice detail on here. Not too bad of a figure. I don't I do not recommend picking him up over Bumblebee. Uh, I think Bumblebee still is the best in this line, just because it, it's much better looking. He, in terms of articulation, his head's all over the place. Full articulation in the arms. One thing I don't like, obviously, he's got a big hole. Where he bends his elbow, like this, because the default position for anybody to hold their arms is going to be kind of like this. So that kind of looks ugly to me. you got to have him positioned like this, and then it doesn't look quite as ugly. But then it's weird positioning his arms. Legs are, are back and forth, knee kind of I mean that's kind of a knee joint there no articulation in the foot but here's where I have a problem you have some really weird and I'm gonna try and show this really weird joints in here that don't make any sense as you can see it bends inward like this here's a problem though this little rubber piece is stuck in this section right here um, when that's attached like it is on this leg you can't get this move motion uh, I, I don't know what the purpose of that is and I can't get this little rubber piece back in there now It just looks like it pegs in there, but oh well mm, The other gimmick is if you take his fist and slide it back like so now you rotate the wheel and his On both hands they'll spin around and then to undo it just push inward again And then you're back to normal um, overall, though, I mean, he's a nice figure. I, I can't complain too terribly much, but like I said, you're definitely going to want to get Bumblebee before anybody else. Epps's figure doesn't really do too much. I mean, you got pegs on the arms, so he can... I mean... That just, that just looks retarded. I, I, I don't understand that. That doesn't look as good as Bumblebee's. He has seats in the back here that you can rotate out this cannon. Hopefully you can see it. One of my lights is actually burnt out, so I'm doing this review minus a light. And you got a cannon here that you can put the missile launcher into. You can shoot cameras with it. Yep, shoot cameras. And if you fold this back out and around, you can have Epps kind of sit back here, but it looks really, really kind of gay. I'm just going to set him right there. Um, not too impressed with that, to be honest. I'm, I'm really, really not. So there is Human Alliance Sideswipe. I'm going to do some comparisons for you guys because everybody loves comparisons after I put all this gizmo crap back. Here you go. And, and, and he's still really back heavy. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't help too much. And here you have Sideswipe next to Human Alliance Bumblebee. And as you can see, Bumblebee actually is taller at the head than S Sideswipe is. So whether or not that bothers you or not, I mean, I really think that this is a really good line. I, I, I do think Bumblebee is the better figure. I think they put more attention to detail in Bumblebee than they necessarily did in Sideswipe. I hope that isn't the case with the rest of the Human Alliance figures. I am really looking forward to them. I don't have skids coming anytime soon but i do want to get skids and i have a very special thing that i'm going to be reviewing along with skids and 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 it's it's a little custom thing and i'm, I'm really excited about it so uh so there so there you see 
how he looks alongside Human Alliance Bumblebee. I'm gonna get him out of the way, and oh look, he's got a hand. So that's about it. So now to transform him back, first what you wanna do is detach all of this junk. Come around here to the bottom, loosen that up, and you're going to just kind of fold this out, fold that down, just to get it out of the way. Take the torso bit, you're going to extend, you're gonna grab hold of the legs and this, and then you're just gonna extend that all the way out. Fold these little inner thigh bits down and inside. And I just lift this, lift these little pieces, get those out of the way. Take, and you want to detach the arms from the, their clips. Position the head inside, like so. And to get the seats, just fold it out, get those, I don't have to worry about them. Come around here to the front. So, I'm going to rotate these around so it's like this, and then rotate the wheel towards the front. Trust me, it helps doing it this way. Rotate that around, come around, to the, come around here to the bottom, and you're going to fold this little bit in and accordion the arms in. And when you do that, you should have the wheels perfectly lined up so that they can plug in. And hopefully you can see that because those doors were in the way. So again, you're gonna fold this little bit in like so. And you're gonna accordion all of that in. For the wheel, sometimes it's a little pain in the butt, but there we go. And the wheels roll nicely, so now you now you got it right. Come around here to the bottom. It's really kibbly, isn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna come to the legs. You're gonna just push those together like so. Rotate the wheel back. Rotate this bit around. Well, fold that back up and in. Rotate that, just like so. So you have the wheels very much like the deluxe version. Squish them in, squish them in, and then plug them together. Nice and tight, fold this little bit down, then flip it over, and any bits that you have sticking up here, fold that down like so. Take the grill, fold that back out. Extend it forward, and there are two little pegs right here and here that fit in holes here and here. So you just bring that down and that clips nicely together like so. Thusly. <laughs> now this part here is really quite simple. Again, you kind of just get the doors out of the way. Fold this bit around so it's just resting across here. Fold the seats down. The seats kind of sort of peg into place not really, but they kind of sort of do. And then when you want to, you're folding this all up in, so you need to kind of go off to the side, off to the side, and then you're going to be bringing that down together like so. Bring this in here, and there's a hole. You're going to just peg that in. Do the same on this side. Peg that in, just like so, nice. And secure kind of push the door or push the seats down more just to kind of get them so that they can fit a person if you want to put a person in there and then the missile again would just rest in between these little grooves which the missiles on the floor put the doors down rotate this out to the side fold this bit back out rotate that all the way around and clip that down and push the doors up Like so, and thusly. And then you have to try and position, push it all down so that you can get the wheels rolling. And there you have Human Lion Sideswipe back in his car mode. Gorgeous vehicle mode. I, I really think the vehicle mode is where this thing shines. The robot mode is okay. Transformation is actually kind of interesting. So I do, as I said, recommend picking up this figure, but you're gonna wanna get Bumblebee first. Bumblebee is just a much better looking figure. The transformation is more fun. And the robot mode just looks a whole lot better. And here's freakish leg Sergeant Epps. So until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Optibonimus. I will talk to you later. Okay, guys, so a bit of a, uh, an appendage onto the my Human Alliance Sideswipe review. My girl came up with this brilliant idea. Why don't I show off 
robot replicas sideswipe in the same type of general scheme of things and so now you can see a overall size scale comparison and how the sideswipes look through the robot replicas the deluxe and the human alliance version which is kind of like a voyager so and to do that, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna show off a little bit of the sideswipe figure. It's actually not bad, not as good as the human alliance or I'm sorry, the robot replicas skids figure. He's a little bit smaller than the deluxe version, as you can plainly see. But again, still fantastic articulation. The only thing that kind of sucks is he's stuck having these blades as hands. Um, back and forth. I mean, same amount of articulation. The articulation on this thing is fantastic. I, I really like the way that it looks. It, it goes perfectly with me having him in robot mode, me having him in vehicle mode, and him being displayed with my alternators and my other human alliance figures. So, there you go, guys. I just wanted to show this off real quick. So, again, thank you for tuning in. Talk to you later.